What up guys, Kevin here. PlayStation 5 Pro. It's the Pro version of the PlayStation 5. It's $699. Practically $800. No, more than $800. If you include taxes, the stand, and if you want a disk drive. Absolutely insane, crazy, and they're not sold out. And we gotta sit back and laugh at PlayStation not selling out on a brand new console. This is PlayStation. This is PlayStation without Xbox. I mean, Xbox is there, I don't know, they're hanging out in the back, they're like, yeah, we give up. Do what you want, PlayStation. We'll put our games on your platform, but no, they still cannot sell out on PlayStation 5 Pros. I just checked right now on PlayStation Direct. I can put a PlayStation 5 Pro in my cart and buy one. I'm not going to do that because I already did it. <laughs> Look. When you get to my age and you start making a little bit more money and you work 50 plus hours, you can treat yourself to a PlayStation 5 Pro. But I understand I am not everyone or everyone's not me and not everyone is stupid like me. Especially when the PS5 plays just about every game at 60 frames per second. Even the games that don't run at 60 FPS, you still have VRR. If you have a VRR television, I would, in fact, upgrade your television, take that uh, $800, and get yourself a nice television. You can even get yourself like a 48-inch C3, LG C3. You'll probably want to go bigger, but that is the upgrade I would make. Not a PS5 Pro, but... You do what you want with their money, but it seems like a lot of people went, no, at Sony, we're good. We're good. So, like, what does this mean for PlayStation? I think it means a price cut is going to happen. When GTA 6 goes on sale for pre-orders or what, and they still aren't selling out on the PS5 Pros, Yeah, I would say, hmm, $5.99. Yeah, I would just wait for GTA 6 to go on sale for pre-orders. And then you're going to start seeing sales on the PS5 Pro. <laughs> That's why they're selling it that much. They think they're going to get a lot because, oh, people want to play this game on a Pro. Not so much. <laughs> Especially if the game's going to be 30 FPS no matter what. Um, but yeah, PlayStation is just full of themselves. I can't believe they thought they're going to get away with it. I can't believe there's analysts. I'm seeing analysts that I respect say the thing is going to sell 13 million. PS5 Pro is not selling 13 million unless it gets a price cut and Sony does a dick move by not making as many regular PS5 so people have to buy a PS5 Pro if they're going to get a PlayStation. Sony's going to do that. <laughs> um, wow. Oh, and you got to pay for Plus too. I keep forgetting about that because I'm stocked up to 2026. Which now that I think about it, it's like a year away. <laughs> I remember being like, holy crap, I'm like stocked up to 2026. I'll be dead by then. And now I'm like a little bit over a year away. Uh <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of money to get into the PlayStation ecosystem. But hey, you can play games like Astrobot. <laughs> it's a fun game. It's a fun little game. Um, but I'm playing this game. I'm like, what can the PS5 Pro do better with this game? I know it can do better with this game, but I'm playing a game that looks like I have no complaints about it. I have zero complaints about it. I don't know, maybe it's like 1080p. I can't tell. I'm playing on a 55-inch TV sitting 15 feet away. So at that distance, it don't matter. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, people have spoken with their wallets. If they're going to spend that much money, I mean, first off, they don't. Not in this economy. If they are, they're going to get a PC. They're going to get a PC. And I've seen some PlayStation fanboys. You're not waiting 
two years to play the bangers like God of War and all that? I'm like, yeah, they are. <laughs> they absolutely are. PlayStation games are not that special. I have not played a special PlayStation 5 game this generation. Even Astrobot right here. I'm like, okay, it's a nice platformer, but nothing I'm really blown away by. I still think that title that gets close to it is Returnal. I think Returnal is the game that would, uh, I mean, it definitely wouldn't <laughs> sell me on a PS5 if I wasn't interested in. But it's the game that gets close. But, yeah. PlayStation 5 Pro. I just don't know what was Sony thinking. And now I'm hearing that Horizon, the online game, that's what they're focused on over at Gorilla. Herman Holst is gone, guys. <laughs> He's gone. Now, he'll probably get maybe a few more years under his leadership, but Concord... Like, this, these are the games that came out under Herman, Herman Holst. Concord? Was there anything else? I'm trying to think. Was there any other game? <laughs> I know. They're too busy money hatting other titles. Which is absolutely insane to me. It's insane that PlayStation gets away with it. But, you know. Whatever. I don't even think Xbox cares at this point. They're like, whatever. Money hat what you want. Have fun with your... 105 million monthly users while we have 500 million plus. <laughs> um, and I do think that's what it's going to be about. I think it's about monthly users and PlayStation with their prices are not going to get monthly users. It's impossible to get um, even what they are getting already by price gouging everybody. Even games like they're doing the Nintendo thing. And I feel like it's kind of my fault. I always told PlayStation, like, hey, you think your games don't stink? Pull a Nintendo and don't ever put them on sale. And they're kind of doing that this generation. Except the thing is, their games kind of do stink. They're one and done. Like Spider-Man 2, God of War Ragnarok, even Horizon Forbidden West, just all kind of came and went. They came out, people were excited for a day or two, and then poof, gone. <laughs> But, alright, I'm done here. Just wanted to talk about the lack of sales for the PlayStation 5 Pro. And at that price, the price it costs for them to make a PS5 Pro, it's not like they've made too many. It's not like they made, like, 10 million. Like, no, they probably only made maybe, like, 500,000. And maybe only, like, 100 or 200,000 people pre-ordered it. Yeah, I think lifetime sales, I'm going to say 8 million. I'm going to put 8 million for the PS5 Pro, and that's with a price. That is with a price reduction. Like, I, I just don't see people buying the thing at all. It just makes zero sense. We got 20 games. They showed like 20 games. And here's the thing. People are not into big AAA games like they were before. People are not into the big God of War, Ragnarok, Spider-Mans, even Final Fantasy 16. The type of games that would take advantage of a platform like the PS5 Pro. No. People are playing Bellatro and Dredge and um, Dave the Diver. <laughs> Those games can run on a PlayStation 1. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're in a day and age where the most popular games are games that can run on a PlayStation 1. And PlayStation thinks that everyone's going to run out and buy a PS5 Pro. They're, they're retarded. And I guess I am for pre-ordering one. But hey, there you have it. Just wanted to talk about the PS5 Pro. Did you get one? I got one. I'm excited for it. I'm always excited for new consoles. I'm excited for the Switch 2. Be excited for any device that, I mean, I want to get excited for VR, but it's just not there yet. VR, I'm like, man, the, the games are just not there. But all right, that's a separate video. I got to go. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.